Hello guys. Hello everyone. Well, my name is Jeremiah Muga and I'm excited to be back here on my YouTube channel after a long break. And I want to share a very important part of my journey. That's I believe will inspire many of you out there. And you know, I'm currently living and working in Dubai. And this city has truly changed my life in a way that I couldn't imagine. As you guys know, that's somewhere else. It. And I want to take you on a journey telling you about how I got here, the challenges I faced, and how I determined to become the best YouTuber on earth while improving myself every step of the way. You know, I have this. There's a guy, uh, his name is Ayemarwa, he's from Kenya. He's the best YouTuber, and I remember I was introduced to that guy by my brother. You know, I'm happy that my YouTube account is now growing, and it has reached like to a place where it has reached a stage where I think it's a bit challenging, but I have to keep pushing. So, how it all began? Well, I think I should go back in time uh, where it was 2021, yeah? yeah? That's the first time I came to Dubai. And to be honest, I was fortunate to have my good brother, Paul Otieno. Uh, people call him Oti or Paul Oti that's his name he's my real good brother thanks to you you know I got introduced to all sides of life in Dubai from the luxurious lifestyle to the more modest side by that guy um, Paul Oti that's my real bro So I believe that even if you will watch this video, you know that your young bro is appreciating you. Appreciate you a lot, bro. But the way Paul was living a well life, so I was able to enjoy the best of what Dubai had offered during my first day. Can't you imagine that? I never thought that. I never thought if people were uh, in some bad situations out here, but luckily I came here and I realized that Dubai is the best place for ever. Yeah. And I was talking about Aymara. He is one of the best YouTubers in Africa, bro. not only in Africa, in the world, he is the best. And I always watch his videos, he is good, he is doing really good. And I think maybe if I get a good opportunity to meet with him one day, I will try to explain some different stuff to him since I admire him a lot. Well, let's keep uh, let's keep recording. Uh, let me keep doing this. Okay, there's uh, one thing that you guys should understand. Like, you know, I was able when I came here, I was able to enjoy the I mean the life, the, the good side of Dubai. And after some time, you know, I went back to Tanzania to manage some things that I was planning 
uh, as I was planning my next steps towards achieving my dream. Yeah? So, after some time, uh, I decided now to, like, I wanted to get to a place where I can do my things that, like, okay, like, let me just say it in a simple way, you know, after returning home, I realized that I needed to step out of my comfort zone. To truly reach my goals, that's what I wanted at that time, and that's when I made the bold decision to come back to Dubai with the intention of finding a better life and helping my family back in Tanzania. But it was not easy, I had a loan that was around seven million by that time. And I was determined to pay it back as quickly as possible. I remember that that was the hardest time. Okay, I should just go with uh, you know when I returned back to Dubai, I got an opportunity to start working with some different companies. It wasn't a smooth journey at first, but with persistence and the grace of God. Things began to work out. Yeah, I remember I secured a, a job that paid me uh, four thousand dirhams a month with accommodations and food provided. I didn't let myself get distracted. Instead, I focused all my energy on paying back the debt I owed adapting to the environment and my culture that amount is a lot of money and I was disciplined enough to prioritize my financial goals <laughs> and you know uh, looking back I can confidently say that every struggle and every blessing I've experienced has made me stronger and more determined. You know, uh, I'm grateful to God for always guiding me and giving me strength through every challenge. And life in Dubai <coughs> has had its up and downs, but you know. I believe that with faith and hard working, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible if you determine yourself to work hard, if you pray, if you keep doing good, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. It's just a matter of time. But I believe everything is possible. Very true. You know, I see my journey in this city as a pathway to greater success, yeah? not just for myself, but for everyone who looks up to me. Because I have people, I have young brothers, I have uncles, I have siblings, I have nephews, so they all, you know, they keep looking at me, they keep, like, you know, that's what I mean, yeah. You know, uh, and one thing that uh, I know that it will pay off one day is this YouTube account that I have. Because this is just the beginning. And they want to keep growing, not only in my personal life, no, and career, oh, no, but also as a content creator. You know, I want to be a content creator. That's why I'm trying to achieve my goals and my goal is to become the best youtuber on earth by sharing real inspiring and uplifting content 
and I want you all to follow my journey as I continue to navigate life here in Dubai and beyond, not only here in Dubai. There's so much more I'll be sharing with you, stories, experiences, and tips that I believe will motivate you to chase your dreams no matter where you are. And by concluding, I would like to say thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And I'm excited to bring you along as I keep striving for success and self-improvement. More stories are coming and I'm just getting started. Let's go together. Thank you and shout out to the best YouTuber on earth, Ayemara. Salute, bro. I give thanks to the most high and I'm proud that you are doing your best. Level. I just wish you all the best on, on your life and say hello to your mama. Say hello to your sister D Mwango. Say hello to everyone around. Thank you so much. I appreciate. You.